What is up you guys, it's your girl Vogue Unicorn aka Laika back with beauty content for you and today I'm going to be showing you my face shaving routine and let's get into what you'll need and how I do it so let's go so these are the few things you'll need you will need um, a few blades really cotton pads, a cleanser and moisturizer with SPF so these are the blades that I do have. Now you can see they're all very three different blades and these are all eyebrow razors. I will have their links down below. So this one is a smaller one and it is perfect for the brows, um, the moustache, you know, the stash going on and um, just little areas like your nose and all that that you want to get into and you don't want to use the whole blade and like peel your nose off. I'm just kidding. And this is the best, so it is very beginner friendly. You can use this for your whole face, your sideburns, your stash, your um, top of your brows, and it also gives precision that prevents, you know, razor cuts. And the last one is one I would recommend um, when you get better at it, you really want to practice. So this is straight up dermaplaning because it's just a blade, you can see. Very sharp and you have to be very careful, but this is the one I'm gonna be using today. And also you will need a deep cleanser, preferably one with um, a little bit of exfoliating so that you can get off the dead skin cells and smoothen your skin out. You'll also need some cotton pads because you don't see a lot of peach fuzz, sis. So try not to use ones that you know are reusable because you don't know when was the last you washed them or something. But yeah, the disposable ones are the best. You will also need a water-based moisturizer that will help with hydrating your skin and any serum really um, to just, you know, go in there. And SPF if you're doing it during the day, if you're doing it um, during the night, you can just use the water-based cream or some aloe gel and it will work just as fine. And yes, that's what you need for the day. You will also need some makeup remover because this, um, I'm using micellar water because it is the most effective in taking out dirt and it's, it just gives you a very clean canvas to work with. Last but not least, you will need some sort of um, lubricant. I'm just using petroleum jelly because it works best for me and it doesn't, um, you know, I don't cut my skin. And then you'll also need a microfiber towel or any towel for that matter. Now, first things first, make sure you do not use these kind of razors to shave your face. It's a huge no. And make sure you take off any jewelry you have on your face. I'm just taking out my nose stud. And yep. So the first step is really optional, but I go in with a nice face mask before I shave my face and just wash it off right after that and start with my routine. This is the Odifix by Lush. I'm using that and it works amazing. It also helps because I have very high flame level shape rates. So yep, I'm just gonna wash that off and yep. I'm gonna start with deep cleansing my face. And it was at this moment I realized I had too much on. But you really want to do this for about one to two minutes. Really cleanse your skin and then you can proceed with your next step, which is patting your face dry. I know that sounds hard, but pat it dry and use the micellar water and get off any extra dirt. You will actually see a bit more of dirt come off and you'll be very shook by that. And yep, right after that, rinse it off with some warm water. Make sure you're using warm water, it softens the hair and um, pat dry. And then we will go on with lubricating the whole face. I'm using the petroleum jelly and I'm just getting a little bit onto my clean fingers and rubbing that all over my face. And then you can get your blade. I'm using the um, normal ones like I use because I'm very used to it. And you want to make sure you're shaving your face. Um, with the growth of your hair and it has to be in a 45 degree angle now you can't see anything on my face but see the amount of peach fuzz you want to hold your skin hot so that you know you don't go over crap and this will just make it way easier and you can see how my skin is already like brightening up 
And one thing's for sure, if you do have acne or you have too extremely sensitive skin, this will not be for you. I would suggest you try alternative methods. I do have sensitive skin, but I have a way of like, you know, getting it done. Now I'm adding more petroleum jelly after I'm done with like the big parts of my face. I'm adding it to the parts I need to, um, you know, go in with a smaller razor. And this includes my under eye area, my nose, my stash, all over my lips really, and my eyebrows. So add them lubricant. Same thing with the face. You want to go at a 45 degree angle and just shave in the direction of growth and it will come out almost instantly. So under the eye is a very delicate area. You want to be very soft and gentle. Small strokes will bring you far. Don't try to do this too fast. So small, small strokes and yeah. So even with my eyebrows, that's what I'm doing. And then rinse it off with cold water. Add your water um, base cream and just rub that and you're also improving your blood flow. So one of the few benefits is that your skincare products will absorb better into your skin. You will also have a very smooth application and it gives you an amazing glow. Like really, it is amazing. Now you're gonna get some SPF because this is during the day and you wanna put that generously on your skin, okay? Make sure you do not wear makeup for the next 24 to 48 hours. You also want to make sure you don't use any products that have active ingredients like hyaluronic acids or hyaluronic? Yes, um, you know the red bile blood ordinary thing, the peeling solution. No exfoliating for the next 48 hours. You just want to make sure your skin is hydrated and you have an amazing base right after that. Trust me on this. You also do not want to use a face mask right after this. Just let your skin breathe a little. You must realize everything's open, but you can see that. And this is the amount of peach fuzz. Now, I shave my face um, twice to three times a month, depending. And it's been working amazing. No, your hair will not grow back thicker if you do it the proper way in um, the method I showed you. And make sure once you're done using those razors, you want to pick them up. No, don't sanitize them. Just throw them out. You're done. So once you use it, you gotta toss it. And this is how my face looks like right afterwards. You can see a bit of redness, but just get an ice cube and it'll help. And this is one hour later, you can see the redness has gone down. So I hope this video helps. Thank you guys for watching. Do subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!